Hey everybody, if y'all have a roof hatch that is a polyfiber roof hatch, now there's a lot of them that are just plastic, propylene, they're just basically plastic. Now this one is an escape hatch, so it's about 25 by 18, and they want $100 for these things. If you haven't made the mistake of using stuff like this on one of these, and you haven't let it go completely bad, now this one isn't terrible but they're made out of frp which is a fiber reinforced plastic it's basically it's fiberglass and they're not hard to deal with one of the things is removing it from the roof most of these do have the c channel so yours might be like that and then where it's going to hit in that groove is they're going to have they're just going to bend them tabs a little bit so when you get up there you're going to need needle nose to straighten it out the best you can and you'll just slide it completely off so you'll remove your crossbar right here and there's typically just some screws or rivets and then you drill out the rivets and, um, and then you have your lid now i'm making this one out of steel we're going to go with steel and i'm just going to omit this because it's a little too late previous owner didn't care and they use stuff that's basically for a boat it is i'll tear this whole corner up trying to get this off and i don't want to rebuild the corner the other thing is is that the back of it back here they've just gooped it all bad back here it's just nasty they rebuilt the corner so it's just in real tragic condition but if yours isn't too bad and like you see you see the fiberglass right there underneath the, uh, the coating then what you're going to do, and I'll put it below the video, these kits, it's going to show you. Now, most people don't have a big one like this. The average is a 1522, but this one's the big one. So I'll be using two kits. But one kit will do your average. And these, don't, these kits are only about $16 a piece. So you're going to get your weave, your fiberglass weave. And as you can see, it's, it's a 25 by 18 weave. So it's practically almost big enough but I would need two kits because I would have to cut strips and start here, roll over to the edge and make that piece, let it harden a little bit and then add this one. So what you're gonna get in your kit is these are the cheapest and easiest and they work amazingly well on general, they work on this plastic. So they work uh, really well on this kind of plastics. Now, if you have a RV vent, that is um, rusted. You can hit it with Novorex or a rust compound or clean it with navel jelly and you can fiberglass coat the top of it and reduce the heat transition also going in. You can also use this fiberglass because it's translucent once it does dry. Um, you can use this fiberglass mat on a regular vent if you choose to do so. Just make sure that when you do it, you rough the vent up with some brass wool something like that, like a scrubber pad, and the same thing you're gonna to do to this. Now, I just use a standard Scotch-Brite and clean this really well and wash it really well and then dry it. And then the next step would, of course, be using some alcohol. Now, I only have 70% and I do prefer the 90% uh, before I do a fiberglass job. But once you've done that, you can just fiberglass that top and restore it to its strength and you won't add hardly any weight to it that way instead, instead of spending $100 because 16 bucks, two hours of your work versus 100 bucks for one of these damn things. So it's not nice. Uh, it's just a piece of casted fiberglass plastic. It's really cheap, but they got you and they know you need it. So they're going to hit you hard or you can hit back by just repairing the one you got. So there you go, these kits, Bondo kits, they're great for all kinds of stuff. I just did the rear end of a Cadillac, a 76 Cadillac that has those like plastic um, fender ends. I just redid that with two of these kits and because they wanted $600 for those new old stock plastic ends that are already gonna be what, 45 years old, 40 years old? That, that wasn't cool, so I just made the guy a set using this. It's so simple that you can just take what's left of something, wrap it in aluminum foil to, to make your form, cast this around it, and using a one inch brush and this, including the little tub that it comes with, hardener, the resin, and get a bigger one of them. But 
Look below the video. I'll put the link to that. Easy jobs. Fiberglass for FRP. If you have a bathtub that's broke and in an RV, this beats the hell out of. And you do have to, like I said, use the brass, not the steel wool. Don't use steel. Use brass. So you can get it at the grocery store. There's scrubber pads. So that's what you want to use to prep your surface with and clean it. But there you go, guys. Didn't want to make a long video, but I know somebody that is struggling with this. Mentioned it in a video. And I hope I made a video that helps you. Now, what we're going to do with this one is pretty simple. I've got an inch and a quarter rise. I'm going to measure inch and a quarter out all the way around. We're going to cut this out on my machine. I have a big shear and we're just going to cut it and fold it and make some corners for it and replace this with steel. All right, guys.